Who's that creeping in my video? Hey, what's going on, title people, man? First of all, let's start off by saying, I pray you guys are good, staying clean, safe, hygiene. If you got a little sniffle, sniffle, give it a little dab, dab. But most importantly, that you all are good, spending some quality time with your loved ones, your family, your husband, your wife, whomever that you may not have had this time otherwise to spend with. I just wanted to first greet you all with that and say I miss you guys. And um, the purpose of this video, obviously, as you all have been enlightened, we're going to be exploring different ways that we can continually get stronger, better, whether it be in some strength training, pushing up, squatting, some boxing, different things that we can continually do so that this progress that we've made it up until this point in the year isn't completely lost. Because I know there's a lot of hate going on with this virus stuff that's keeping us out of the gym and away from doing the things that we love. But that doesn't mean it has to completely shut down. We just have to make modifications. Life is throwing us some adversity and we shall overcome. And we're back. Okay, guys, so as we go through what will be our home workout strength version. Today's version in particular, we're going to start off with our legs. All right, as you all know, for those of you who take my class, you've already met me before, where you have or haven't, foundation is super, super, super essential. Because it is all about that base, about that base, no treble. No, I forgot, but really. So we're going to work this base. This foundation is essential as we continually start to put together or continue to put together building blocks for what we embody in this new era of fitness for ourselves in our life. I'd hate for you to come this far, it being March, and then for us to go backwards. So then let's not lose too much of what we've gained up until this point. So let's maintain the strength and power in these hawks and hams of ours, okay? All right, so guys, so I'm going to give you a modified version or just a standard version. And for everyone, I'd like for you to just perform a squat. All right, this is our warm-up. Now, with any squats, after you have performed, okay, 10 squats, now we're going to take our squats into a greater version. So I want you to come down on your squat, follow the lines of your knees, walk your hands out. All right, you're going to externally rotate with your right arm beyond the left side. Put the right hand down, externally rotate with the left arm. Open up the hips, keeping the feet down. And from this point, now let's work the middle. All right, so just for those of you who like rhythm and consistency. The cadence and tempo would be up, down, walk it out, open with the right arm, put the right arm down, open with the left arm, put the left arm down, drive the hips to the center, hips up in the air, inchworm your hands back to your feet, two, repeat, arms, squat, walk out, Open, down, open, down, hips, hips, three, and to show you from the side, arms, squat, walk out, open, open, sink, heels, one, arms, Squat, down, open, down, open, down, inch more, man. Wow. So you're complete for this warm up. First the squats, then the next version of squats, 10 and 10. Now we're moving to the third exercise, the lunge. When we perform these lunges, I'd like for you to step back just for the sake of safety. Now, for those of us who need a modification, take your time, put your foot back, and slowly just drive your knee down. Because what we're trying to accomplish, whether you perform it this way, or you start with your foot already staggered, we want these 90 degree angles. That's what we want to achieve. From our hip to our abdominals, coming out our quad, down our shin, calf and hamstring. We stand and repeat. For balance purposes, you can use your arms, get through your reps, 
Bam, we're still in our warm up. Again, 10 of those. After your 10, alternating lunges. We perform these, we're gonna perform some split jacks. Bang. One, two, after five, squat. One, two, three, four, five, squat. One, two, three, four, five, squat. One, two, three, four, five, bam. One, two, three, four, five. And last one, two, three, four, five, tap and squat. Woo! All right, so we're doing our warm up going into the our ground. Now that we've got the blood flowing, Let's take it down to the ground. Keep your wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath hips, back nice and flat. Let's take this opportunity to get our breath together. Head, chin, and shoulder left, right. Complete these for about five. East side, guys, ear to shoulder. All right, make sure we understand the difference. There's ear to shoulder, then there's chin to shoulder, okay? And then there's up and down. Up and down, up and down, and then we go into our favorite cat cow. Move. Move. Again, performing just for about five reps. After our cat cows, now let's work into some bird dogs. I like opposite elbow, the opposite knee. Extend and hold. Down and alternate. Extend and hold. Ooh, that felt good. Wake up, glutes. Extend and hold. Extend and hold. We're going to perform these for about 10 reps, guys. Once you've completed those 10 reps, the next of the exercise, I want you to step. Reach, down, reach, down, step, right, and down, left, down, step, left, reach, down, reach, down, back, step, reach. Again, guys, each of these warm-up movements are to be performed five reps each side. If you want to add more, feel free. Okay, if you want to diminish and take away some, by all means. Last of them, let's activate these glutes. One, two, three, four, five, and drop. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to finish our warm up with a bear plank coat. In three, two, one. Get in a plank. Keep your back flat. Wrists on the shoulders, knees on the hips. All right, try not to shift. And remain in this position now for 45 to a minute. All right. I'm just going to hold mine for about 10 more seconds, just so you all get an understanding of how this should be performed. Four, three, two, one. All right, guys, so after those three rounds, you had your static squat, your overhead squat, and then we perform a squat variation where we raise our arms just to add a little more challenge and strength in the lower arm bars as we continually find new ways to challenge our legs within these home workouts. All right, after those three movements, all right, now if you do have a band, this will be how you perform this particular movement. So you're gonna take that band, put it around your ankles, try to balance, you want to hold on to the wall, feel free. What you're going to do is perform okay, abductions, okay? Put your hip flexor. Now, if you do not have a band, how you perform this movement? Stand, you balance, you hold it here. Three, two, one. Down, up. Three, two, one. That's for people who do not have a band. You perform 15 reps with the left. Same concept, 15 reps with the right, okay? After you've completed your 15 of your lateral raises with your leg or abduction, leg abductions, we're gonna perform calf raises. We're gonna calf raise down, all the way up. Now, ideally, these should be performed at, on an elevated surface. 
just so that you can encourage complete dorsiflexion within that ankle joint, okay? So it's good to get up to the plantar, but we want to encourage greater dorsiflexion so that we're always training the flexion within our ankles as we develop the strength within our calves. Okay, guys, so you've got those two movements, abductions, then your calf raises, right? Once you finish your 15 reps, okay, of left, right, then the calf raises. Now we're back to our legs. First of those legs, 15. So that same lunge exercise we performed earlier, now we're going to take it up a notch in intensity. We're going to start in five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's begin. We're going to do these performing tomahawk style. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fifteen. Right. Now, if you have limitations where you can't jump, those can also go here. Bam. Bam. And even if that is too challenging, just go ahead and stagger. Take your time. One, two, up to fifteen. Sit sides. One, two. Up to 15. Woo! All right, it's money time. It's time to get it within these workouts. All right, so those same squats that we performed in the warm up, we're going to now perform as part of our workout. The 10 that we perform, or the 20 rather, we perform just to get the blood flowing again, as I re emphasize. So we'll be utilizing this band, okay? But one thing that we must go through before we start to train the squats or the legs to a greater or more intense. Level, we're gonna work some flexion. So what I like for us to do, we're just gonna run in place, right? So if you got a timer or a watch, feel free, go ahead and just run in place. If you have a higher fitness level, go ahead and get the knees up. Lower fitness level, you can be here. And if you're just trying to move and do some, uh, get your little bop on right here. Whichever works for you works for me. All right, I'm gonna kick it right here for another 20 more seconds. 10, 18, 19, 16. And if you feel that fancy, go ahead and add you. Jab, cross, you want to hop, 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 So all the moving with it, feel free. Again, the objective is to get it in. You get out what you put in, so put this to work. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. So now we've got ourselves warmed up. We did our down, our open, our open. Let's go ahead and get these legs loose. All right, start off hamstrings, hips, hamstrings, and hips. Again, scoop, figure four, scoop, tall chest, chin angle horizontal in relationship to the ground, Put good. Once you've done about five reps, left and right, work from quad stretch, into the Frankie. Quad, into the front, right hand, right ankle, grab a stretch, kick to the opposite hand. Same concept over here, grab a stretch, and kick. Last up, sneak hug it out, elbow to end step, come up, twist, reach, step back, repeat, knee hug, lunge, elbow to end step, come up, twist, reach, step back, repeat. And the last time, we're going to put you down in side down squat, sink the hips, up, down, up, down, and up, good, and arm circles, palm facing up, gradually grow, and reverse, reverse, reverse. Man, wouldn't it be so much more dope? We have some music, guys. And let's twist. Boom. I'm taking it down off this beat. Ooh, loosen up, baby. Good. 
And lastly, we're going to finish here for the last 30 seconds. I want everyone to go ahead and start shadow boxing. I'm going to turn myself sideways. So their reps will be 20 with the band, where for those of you who are doing this pulsating, you're going to do this for 40 seconds, okay, guys? So whichever version that works for you, works for me. After you're finished, you're either 40 seconds of the pulsating squat or your 20 resisted squats with your bands. Now, we're going to take it up a notch or I have any time. Now, so there are those of us who can't jump. So if that's you, you're going to put your hands here, bring knee, knee, then you take it down, out, heels up, knee, knee, down, out, heels up. Now for those of us who can jump and who want that good bump bump, and we're here, knees, out, hip, hip. I 
I call them knee tuck burpees. There's modifications. If you want to take your chest to the ground, go ahead. You want to stop in the plank, cool. You want to just raise a knee, cool. If you want to jump, cool. Whichever version works for you, works for me. You've got, whoo, you guessed it, 20 reps. Get them done. All right. All right, so we got a warm up. We got the final move before we go to the ground and finish with core. We want to take that same band if we have it. Okay, we're going to stagger this leg back, right? And we're going to go down, come up, bang. Remain under tension. We want to keep time under tension. Now, for those of us who want to take this version to a higher level, you step up, you step down, bam. Right? And if you want to increase it at maximum, here, bring the bands higher. Bam. Right? So you can come here. All right? That would be the most challenging of versions with the band. Now, for those of us who do not have the band, again, your modification, what you're going to do differently, you're going to perform the same exercise, just pulsate. <laughs> Where the band people will perform that, 15 reps, you will double and perform the ball safe for 30 seconds. Left foot forward, right foot forward. 30 seconds, right? Three rounds, right? Every movement exercise that I'm presenting to you guys, prior to you moving on, is three rounds. Now, if you want to group the exercise together to make it a circuit, your discretion, the Purpose and plan was to empower you so that you have an arsenal of shit that you can do so that you're continuously getting stronger and better. Ah! <sighs> Woo! And lastly, guys. All right, so we've got a number of things and we're going to finish on the ground with our core. All right, now, if you have different weight, whatever, if you have a baby you want to use, this is going to be my baby today. I'm going to take this little precious child, I'm going to elevate my feet, and I'm going to rotate left and right. I'm going to perform 50 oblique twists. All right, my baby, if I need a modification, put your feet down, okay? Just make sure you get full rotation. You understand that with any abdominals, okay? We want to really trigger into the obliques, okay? Oh, the workforce, okay? Full rotations when we perform these oblique twists, okay? Really make sure that we're getting into those external and internal oblique regions. Okay, after 50 of those reps, then now we're going to line our back and keep it with the rotations. And I want nice and slow knees to elbow, nice and slow bicycles. If you want to speed it up, bam, feel free. If you want to add a challenge, turn into a biking grinder, bam. So you've got three versions for that exercise. You're going to perform that 50 reps. And the last of the exercise and movements, I want to finish and what we know to do. One of our favorites here at the gym. We're going to start here. All right, we're going shoulder, shoulder, elbow, elbow, hand, hand, ba, ba. That's two, ba, ba, down, down, up, up. If you want to activate your insane and make it even crazier, touch, touch, down, up, touch, touch, down. for you, ah, it works for me. Get through those three exercises, 50 each reps. That's to finish your days of work. Guys, I'm sweating. I was just demonstrating, showing y'all. See, I'm going to a lot. Y'all be well.